We've got women in parliament, women in cabinet positions. We've even had a female PM, a female GG, several female premiers. Glass ceiling smashed, right? Why is it then that women only hold 29% of seats in the House of Reps? I'm talking with some female federal politicians representing Western Sydney about issues for women getting into politics. I begin by asking Anne Stanley, the federal member for Werriwa. First elected to parliament in 2013, she's the chair of a joint standing committee and the opposition whip. Her office is in Hinchinbrook, and I joined her there. I think the challenges that face women are very similar, whatever they choose to do. It's a belief in ourselves. It's the confidence to do um, whatever they choose to do um, because women have lots of passion so and lots of capabilities. And sometimes the thing that keeps them um, held back is the fact that no one mentors them and gives them that confidence to make a difference. But there's some practical things as well. Um, quite often they don't have the resources, so um, childcare costs, um, having to pay a mortgage means that decisions are made um, where the men don't actually necessarily have the same um, decisions to make and it makes it more difficult. But they're not um, barriers that can't be overcome with a conversation about what is reasonable, what has to happen and what um, should be going on in society. So simply having the conversation will start that. And it's about having um, board positions available to people. And sometimes it's about um, see what if you can see it, you can do it. So in the federal parliament, Labor has 47% of the lower house seats are women. Um, so I would hope that that's an encouragement for women in our movement that we can do it because we can see it. Um, and, and we need the whole of society though to be to be making those decisions. But I remember back you know when I was in school, I was in a class of 30 boys in high school. When I got reached grade 11, it was just me and 30 boys um, because I did the sciences and women didn't. So I was the only girl in physics. I was the only girl in advanced maths. There was two girls in chemistry and two girls in biology. Um, they just weren't there. So it was just me. So I was in this really kind of unusual um, world. And the guidance officers used to tell me that girls couldn't be accountants and we couldn't be doctors. And um, because when we left the workforce to have our children, we would get out of touch and we would get behind and we wouldn't be able to re-enter. And Some of the barriers that women face when they're seeking to gain political power are coming up against the informal power structures that operate in all political parties. Uh, and these are often historical. They're often based on a time when we had a much stronger patriarchal uh, way to, we organized ourselves in our society. Uh, when I first started in politics, uh, my children were little. And one of my challenges was to be able to get to branch meetings to meet rank and file members because they were often held at night at about 7 p.m. And if you've got toddlers, you know that about 7 p.m. Uh, is bath, dinner, and bedtime. And so just small things like that uh, add up across a range of areas to make it difficult for women uh, to participate, uh, to get involved. And so you know, I think political parties need to think about how do they change those structures? How do they have meetings at family-friendly times or in family-friendly ways? How do they put in place mentoring programs? Uh, when I first started in politics, there were very few women who'd gone before me in the New South Wales Parliament. Uh, now that there are more, I think it's incumbent upon us who have done it uh, once to, to turn around and help the next generation. The words we use now where there is no equivalent. You know, when I was running for parliament, for example, I was, um, my opponent was the family man and I was the career woman. And, I, and I'm going to go, well, there is no career man. You know, is a career woman a woman that's got a job? He's got a job. You know, why is my having a job give me a, you know, a, a negative pejorative title and his is normal? And if he's a family man, there is no family woman. There is no equivalent. So the fact that he has a he has children makes him this warm and fuzzy thing.
When I first became a Member of Parliament, I noticed that there were bills lists on the whip's wall where every single speaker was male. There were no women. And we were, you know, 30, 35% female, so we should have been there. Um, so in the, in the early years that I was there, for about the first five years, every time, time I found a speaker's list that didn't have a woman on it, I stuck myself on the bottom. Well, yeah, so much has changed in the last 20 years, uh, yet there are still challenges. And, you know, the parties that are doing this best, the political parties, are the ones that have decided that they value diversity, that they want equal representation of men and women, and then they put changes in place to help support that. Uh, but for women who do want to get involved in politics, my biggest piece of advice is decide what it is you want to change. You know, why are you doing this? What is the what are the values? What is the change you want to see in society and what do you want to advocate for? I think a lot of people get involved in politics because they enjoy politics. I think the first question people need to ask themselves is what is the change they want to see in the world and is politics the best way for them to to make that happen? So we see that women continue to face a number of barriers in gaining political power. Some of them, the challenges women face in successful corporate careers, others particular to politics. But we've come a long way. As more women entered Parliament to make the change they wanted to see, they changed fundamentally the way the institution functions, breaking down some of the barriers empowering women and paving the way for more and more women to join their ranks. Maybe you'll join them someday too. I'm Diane Coleman. I wish you good luck.